All right, what's all the racket? Ah, these are all the racket. The racket device made by Racket LLC is a device designed to help you manipulate the slide of a semi-automatic pistol. The product is made of anodized aluminum. It comes in, as you can see, various colors of finish. Um, I particularly kind of like this bronzy looking one. Um, and the pink is definitely one that's going to help keep you from losing it somewhere. But uh, they, it comes in various colors and, and finishes. You can either choose to permanently attach it to something via these, these mounting holes, or you can choose this belt loop solution, which allows you to actually wear the device. It comes in three different sizes. It comes in half inch, comes in five eighths inch, and three quarter inch. And those are for small pistols or compact pistols, um, sort of normal or regular size, and then oversized or extra large pistols. The mounted uh, the mount devices are actually steel that is that are painted, but the racket device itself is anodized aluminum and it's available in several different finishes as you can see uh, from something that looks like it's kind of plain and unfinished to I think my favorite is this bronze one to basic black to hot pink. Now the hot pink one might make it a little easier to uh, to not lose at the range but uh, it might cause a little more conversation depending on who you are wearing it. So I used the, I've used the racket in uh, several different ways. Um, one way that I was a little skeptical of at first was to actually wear it on the belt at the range and use it that way. And I was, I was concerned about two aspects of it. One, I didn't know how sturdy this device would be on a belt uh, of any kind, let alone a sort of a webbed belt. And I was wearing a, I, w I wore a webbed belt instead of a heavy leather belt. And I put this on that belt and I found that it actually worked very well. Uh, I didn't have any problem with it being sturdy enough. Um, it didn't get, didn't get flimsy on me. It didn't shift position. Uh, it worked really well. So I know if you're wearing a good leather belt, it's really going to work good. Or even something thick like an operator's belt. This is going to hold really well on that belt. The other way to use them is to fasten them to a bench or a board or you know near a doorway or someplace like that and you know and, and one of my thinking is you know near a safe table or on a safe table someplace where you may want to have people have a, a safe way to manipulate the slide could also be useful in clearing jams at the range so the racket device is actually a pretty simple design but very effective what you've got is a piece of steel mounting and it's either a belt loop design like this one or it's a wall mount design like this one and then you have an anodized aluminum block with cutouts for the muzzle of the gun and a sight channel. Now this is this is a first for the products that I've seen in that the racket really does allow true one-handed racking of a pistol slide or manual cycling if you want to be more technical about it. Um, whereas a lot of other devices you have to hold the device like I'm holding it now but this you would either you can wear it on your belt or you can mount it and you can mount it not just to a wall but you could mount it you know anywhere so you can give you gives you a lot of creative options. I mounted one just to a piece of wood to simulate a wall mount and you could you know you could mount that to a table or to some portable device if you wanted to as well. All right, so let me make a neutral background. And you can see straight down in the racket device, you can see the shape of that cutout. So you can see the various angles and bevels that are cut out in the racket. And looking straight down at it, this is where you're going to insert the muzzle of your gun. So to try and show this, let me use a contrasting gun. Use a Springfield XDM with a stainless or a uh, satin finish slide for contrast. And we can see that we put the muzzle of the gun right up into the racket. And you want to make sure you get your front sight centered in that sight channel, just like this. And then making sure you're nice and square, you simply push down. Let me see, let me just do this while I'm holding the device. 
The way it works is pretty simple. The racket allows the barrel to pass through, but it doesn't allow the slide to pass through. So that forces the slide back, and if you've got a magazine in, as I do, it'll lock the slide back. And your sight is protected, oops, and your sight is protected, even a relatively delicate fiber optic sight, like this one on the Springfield XDM. So why might you want a device like this? Or who might want a device like this? Well, for starters, how about, you know, maybe older folks who've lost some hand or arm strength, maybe didn't have a whole lot to begin with, and they need a little assistance. This is a good tool for them to have around. How about an otherwise perfectly strong, burly, he-man type person who might have temporary disability due to illness or injury of some sort, but still wants to get out and shoot. This could be a very good tool for that. How about Wounded Warrior? That's really, you know, when I, I gave this a little thought about the, uh, you know, the target audience or customer for this product, and I, you know, I, I thought about the Wounded Warrior. You know, I think about the person who has served their country and they may have come home with, let's say, they're a right-handed person and, you know, um, <laughs> they luckily still have their right arm, but maybe they don't have their left arm. So maybe they have just one hand that they can use. Um, this certainly could be the difference between them being able to um, manipulate the slide on a pistol uh, when they need to. Again, you know, you can fasten this on your belt. Um, you've got one that you can put on walls and with a little creativity you could put it on a lot of places. I could even see one being fixed onto the side of a wheelchair or something like that if need be. Um, if you have a handgun with a lot of capacity like this uh, Springfield XDM that holds you know 20 rounds um, then you certainly could charge um, you know you could load and make ready your personal defense gun or your home defense gun with this device. So yeah, there, I think there is definitely a legitimate use and a legitimate need for devices like this. And I think this is a good one. I think it's well, it's extremely sturdy, very well made, uh, well designed and well thought out. The only caveat that I will offer is that I tested all the different size uh, rackets with a lot of different model guns um, with various slide types, even 1911s, um, and it worked really well with everything except for one. So the only gun that gave me any problem, it works great with Glocks, it works great with Springfield Armory XDMs and all of the XD line, basically. The one gun that it had a problem with was this one. I had a problem with the Ruger SR-45. Not that it wouldn't work, it worked just fine. And I even used it outdoors with the, um, with the racket clipped on my belt, and it worked extremely well. The problem is, the way the muzzle is shaped, let me get here, the way the muzzle is shaped on the SR-45, you've got a pretty extreme bevel or slope there on the top above the barrel and before you get to the site and then the site sort of sits up on this little platform and well, what happens is that bevel and let me use a contrasting color here the problem is that bevel scratches right there at the sight channel. So you probably could avoid that if you were a little more careful. I wasn't all that terribly careful. Um, so you probably could do it and avoid that, but I just want to throw out as a caveat, the folks at um, the folks at Racket provide a good listing and you know when you buy the product you get this for the different sizes. This is for the 5 eighths, there's one for the half inch, there's one for the uh, 3 quarter inch as well. But they'll show you, they'll list all different guns. And I would say that if you own a handgun that's not on this list, um, contact them. You know, send them an email or give them a call. I'm sure they would be very happy to, uh, to let you know which gun 
best fits which one and, and whether or not they've actually tested your particular gun. Okay, one of the other things that concerned me a little bit with putting it on my belt and using it was, you know, covering myself with the muzzle, you know, making sure I didn't sweep uh, my leg or, or something like that while I was using the device. So I was really cautious at first and I, I did it very slowly and deliberately and I found that it was actually very easy to use the device without covering yourself with the muzzle, without sweeping your body. Um, it, it really just comes down to, you know, sort of sticking your, sticking your one hip out a little bit to one side and um, just making sure you use it straight up and down and don't don't point the pistol into your body. So it really, I found it um, very easy to use safely. I didn't have to really give it a whole lot of extra thought or hold my tongue right or any of that kind of stuff. So, um, so I felt good about that after having used it. They do give you instructions with it. You know, very basic. It may seem like common sense or, or standard logic on how to use it, but, you know, may not be to everyone. So they give you instructions step by step how to use it. They have some illustrations inside the packaging that shows you how to use the device. And, of course, they have their contact information. The folks at Racket are really great people to deal with. They're they're really nice. Um, you know, they they're making a good product, and I think they're making it for the right reasons. And they're very down to earth. So if you have questions or comments, you know, check them out on Facebook. They've got uh, I'll put that information here below. Um, you know, give them a, give them a shout on Facebook or send them an email or give them a call, and um, I'm sure they'll be happy to answer your questions and check it out. It's a pretty cool little gadget.